Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have another lip swatch video because you guys seem to love them. I was sent a couple of the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit. Yes, Liquid Catsuit lipsticks as part of the new Fantasy Makers collection. Oh my gosh, how did I remember all this? I believe I was sent these four shades. So we've got like some black, some blacks. A black, two blues, and a deep red. And I saw these and I was like, what could I do with them? You know, I was thinking, thinking, thinking. And then I was like, why don't I combine it with some more colors and film a lip swatch video? So I ran out to pack and save, grabbed more wearable shades that you guys would want to see. Now we're going to watch one big lip swatch video. So yeah, if you guys want to know what all of those look like on me, then keep watching. And I got the lighter shade. So this is the shade nudist peach wow it's really nude oh dear <laughs> i like the applicator kind of like hugs your lip a little bit it actually looks a lot better on camera than it does in person i think that because i have quite dark pigmented lip pigmented lips that um you can still see the lip beneath it so i might need to do another coat if you want to know any of my foundation shades for reference, I'm um, MAC NC40, Estee Lauder, Double Wear Cashew, NARS, She Glow, Syracuse. Check out my description box for other shades because I always chuck them down in every video so you guys can, I guess, refer back to it. Finally, it's dry and wow. On camera, it looks great. In person, I'm kind of hesitant. I think what I need is to just get a lip liner and line my edges of my lips and then it would work. I think what's also doing well for it is that I've got a lot of bronzer on and otherwise, for me, it might have washed me out. Besides the fact that I need to wear a lip liner, but yeah, I'm not mad at it. Doesn't transfer. Once again, this is Nudist Peach. Okay, so next up, should I put them in lightest to darkest? Like what game am I playing here, you know? Next up, we have the shade Rebel Rose. Rouse. I feel like this is just going to be one I love. Okay, so I'm back. I had to just turn everything off so it could not spaz on me, you know? Now everything's silent. It's kind of like a muted pink. Kind of looks a little bit more mauve in the tube, but oh no, it does. No, that's cute. Yeah, I like this. So far, we are off to a good start because I like them both. So yeah, once again, this is Ribble Rose. Next up, we have the shade Give Me Mocha, a brownie terracotta-y shade. Ooh. It's like a rusty, orangey, terracotta. At first I was like, I don't know about the shade, but on camera and in person I'm like, all right, all right, all right. It was kind of reddy-ish, like a reddy brown terracotta. I really can't describe the shade. It's called Give Me Mocha. Okay, we'll call it Mocha. So yeah, once again, this is Give Me Mocha. So next up we have the shade Berry Recognize. So this is what I was wearing. Love the shade. It's such a beautiful like deeper, I don't want to say it's like fuchsia because I feel like this next one is fuchsia, but this one's like a deeper berry pink. Like I really like it. Real cute, real cute. Once again, this is Berry Recognize. Okay, so next up we have the shade Nice to Fuchsia. Very vibrant pink. I feel like when you first open it, you need to get some more product up. Hundred percent love the shade. Oh my gosh, look how vibrant it is. I love it. It's such a beautiful pink. Anyway, so yeah, this is Nice to Fuchsia. So next up, we're going to hit it with a red. This is the shade Messy and Fierce. I've never actually had a problem with a lipstick getting on my teeth as much as I have with this. I don't know what it is. I think maybe I'm just applying too much of it on. I don't know. Oh god, look at my fingers. Look at my fingers. Once again, this is the shade Messy and Fierce. Next up, we have the shade Hexcellent. Now, this was one of the shades that was sent to me from here. The rest I purchased myself.
I actually love this shade Hexalan. I didn't realize it looks like a red. Look, it looks like a red. But on my lips, it's more of a deeper burgundy shade in person. So yeah, I actually really love it. So, oh my god, look at my fingers. So yeah, once again, this is the shade Hexalan. You guys, this is exciting. Look at this one. This is the shade Bewitched. It's bright blue. And it's a metallic. Might not be an everyday, depending on whether you love wearing this color, but wow, such a fun color to play with. And full on glitter, like it's metallic. It's crazy how it's transfer proof too. Anyways, yeah, so this is the color Bewitched. Next up, we have the shade Darkness Falls. Now, this is just like a matte lipstick. I'm excited because it's obviously blue. It's an amazing sh shade. Let me know if you guys wear these kind of bold shades and what your favorite color is because I would love to know. I added some more, but then I added some metallic by accident, so it's kind of metallic-y. But yeah, once again, this is the shade Darkness Falls. Last color is the shade Shady Witch. I've tried this one, you guys. It's like a black metallic shade. It's amazing. This is the shade Shady Witch. Um, maybe it's not the best shade for me, but oh my god, how fun. I wonder what um people would say if I would just rocked up to work like this and like, hey, just wear this for like a work, a day at work. It's not like full on black, it's kind of like a charcoal-y kind of shade, but I actually love it. So once again, this is Shady Witch. So that's the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any requests of other products that you want to see reviewed, foundations, lipsticks, anything really, then leave them down in the comments. Or if you want to just come say hi, then feel free and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone. Oh yo. Okay, great. Oh my eyes, my eyes, you guys. Are we recording? Yes, we can do it. Even though my eyes are like literally done for. Going in, oh my god, my mic fell. At one, what point did my mic fall? I swear, I'm sorry. I've picked it up now. Love it. Can you take it off? I need to put it on. Can you take it off? I need to put it on. If my mic wasn't plugged in, I would be like, I'm done. I'm going home. Even though I am home, I'm going to my room.